Some of you may not be aware that there is a new, mysterious, magical presence sensed in Sherwood. One who is your friend has not been truthful with you on who they are. It is best that Mavelle speaks with you. It has been determined that a blocking spell has been conjured in order to hide this person's true identity. At this time, we are not sure whether this person's intentions are good or negative. This person's true name is Mordred, or as you better know him as, Brayden. But that's not possible. Wizard Mordred is but a legend that dates back over a hundred years when Arthur Pendragon and Queen Genevieve ruled the land across the sea. You would have to be well over a hundred years old. I've never met Brayden, but I am beginning to think that it's the boy wizard that Sizzik and I saw in the forest. He helped us out when we were about to be attacked. He could do magic, truly. He could. Oh no, here we go again. But this time, I have a hundred year old wizard friend. Why do we keep on running into wizards and medicine people and not normal people? Huh? I agree with Welland. Brayden is about our age, other than Rowan, who is now over a hundred years old. However, it is because he was trapped in the stone. It's not the physical body, but the mystical element that has gone from person to person all these years. Mordred the spirit, though, has been going from body to body for an unknown time. Nobody knows. I'm certain that Brayden hasn't ever met us any harm. I mean, don't you think we need to talk to him about this before we come to any conclusions? Very well, then. I must depart. Lavelle, I'm sure your friends will seek your counsel. Good day, everyone. My apologies, I don't have more information. It has been tough breaking through so many blocking spells. I cannot believe it's Brayden. I agree. But after all this time, none of us have ever asked where Brayden came from. This is true. We don't know who he is or who his family is. We don't even know where he's from. I also heard about three years ago, a druid boy wizard named Mordred who helped rescue the younger prince of Britannia, Prince Marcus, from mercenaries. He had teamed up with a knight named Sir Maximus Gregorio. Wait, did you say Maximus Gregorio? Wasn't that the archer that told you about your brother, Will Scarlet? I cannot sense or even see a blocking spell. Magic, wizards, glowing eyes, weapons moving by themselves. Expect me to believe that? I don't really care if you believe me or not, okay? First were the mercenaries, and some of them started to attack themselves and others for no apparent reason. Then it was that boy wizard with the glowing eyes. He made me lose my voice, and then out of nowhere, our clubs had a life of their own. <laughs> oh, please. 
If I didn't know better, you didn't do anything and kept the money I gave you and your cohorts, and you're making up excuses as you go. There's no such thing as wizards or magic. All the little fairy tales are just told to keep the little children from misbehaving. Nothing more. Well, what do we have here? What were you doing in the domain of my father, the Sheriff of Nottingham? You weren't hunting, were you? Did you know that's punishable by death? Sherwood is not in the Sheriff's domain. No one owns this land. You have a sharp tongue, brat. All of you, teach them a lesson. Now, how is that a fair fight? One on our boy and two on the attackers. Let's even the odds, shall we? Two of us against all of you. Or better yet, all of you against me. had enough and I've seen enough. Magic, wizards, brats with swords, I don't care if you believe me or not. This is not worth the miserable amount you gave us. We can do better without the likes of you. Nobility. Never seen you around here before. That was great. They all needed to be taught some manners. <laughs> Thank you for helping me. Do you have a name, friend? Charles de Botts, of Castlemore. But my friends call me D'Artagnan. Pleased to meet you, D'Artagnan. My name is Darius, and where did you learn to use a sword like that? Pleased to meet you, Darius. My father is one of the King's Musketeers. That's what I want to be when I'm of age. One of the King's Musketeers. Like my father, and his father before him. Two guys, they come up and they ask us to pay. Why? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. And they go on the line. I don't know. It, it's stupid to have a golden hammer. Everyone, this is Charles de Bot. He does, however, prefer to be called D'Artagnan. Pleased to meet everyone. I'm D'Artagnan. Darius has told me so much about you. You should see a panel of sword. He took on the lad that tried to attack Cedric and I a few days ago, then disarmed him. Hopefully we will not see much of him anymore. Is that a sword from the King's Armory? My father makes most of the weapons for the Duchess of Branford and some of the King's soldiers. My name is Gwynnum Roy. My father is the King's blacksmith. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you, Gwynnum. I know your father very well. My father is the captain of the Musketeers. He tells me about your father's craftsmanship with the King's weapons for the Musketeers. Welcome, Darton. I'm Robin, Robin of Loxley. Care to join us? Hello, pleased to meet you, Darnion. I'm Mabel. I admire your goal to continue your father's legacy as musketeers for the king. Very commendable. Hello, D'Artagnan. My name is Rowan. Welcome. The king's musketeers have a proud history well dating back to 100 years ago. I've met your grandfather, the founder of the king's musketeers. How could you have met my great-grandfather? It was over a hundred years ago. Rowan is over a hundred years old. Really, he is. He was trapped by a spirit that kept him trapped in the magical stone. Orc broke the spell, and Rowan was released. D'Artagnan, I've been looking for you. I'm not having the best day. The sheriff took my sword and nearly took my hands off. The nerve of those men. One day I'll... Oh, hello. I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself. My name is Porthos. Porthos Brasil de Perfons. Please call me Porthos. Ah, yes. Robin of Loxley. 
Your reputation precedes you. The incident where the young sheriff's feet were tied up and landed flat on his face. Outstanding. Well played. Very well played. You seem very preoccupied. What are those papers that you were so intensely staring at? These old stories talk about a dragon appearing when there's an increase of unexplainable magical events. However, there's nothing about anyone named Mordred or any wandering entity. Just a diagram of the old town stage. I have a feeling we could find something near the old town stage. You reminded me of the stories I saw and I kept seeing in my dreams with a dark figure walking around. Here's my sword. I'm gonna get my sword back. Uh, P Porthos, I don't think that's a good idea. Well, well. Look who we have here. Not you again. <clears throat> my lord, that is, uh, it's my sword, and I would love to have it back if, if you don't mind, or have to take it by force. <laughs> is that so? If you hadn't made fun of the sheriff's son, you'd still have your sword. Okay then, let's see you try and take it from me. We can solve this like gentlemen. <laughs> I like you, lad. You're crazy, perhaps brave, and arrogant. And you'll probably have every bone in your body broken before you grow hair in your face. But I like you. Here, take your sword and be gone from my sight before I change my mind. You made fun of the young sheriff? Yeah. <laughs> you are crazy. Lady Zanea, what brings you to this side of Sherwood today? Wise men to know. I think I have figured out how to break through the spell that keeps us from seeing the meaning of the one with the key. According to legend, this key can open up a magical item that can control nature and especially the dragons. The dragons are not a danger. They are protectors. They're meant to keep this magical item from ending up in the hands of dark magic. Thank you.